Hi, my name is Leila Balanja, and I'm a 22-year-old student from Montreal, Quebec. On July 6, 2013, there was a devastating train crash in which over 5 million gallons of oil were spilled into the surrounding environment of Lac Megansic, a city in Quebec. This incident caused great damage to the population, and they are still rebuilding to this day. After hearing about the Lac Megansic oil spill in 2013, I think this is really when I realized how massive this issue was of oil contamination. So I read more and more, and of course, soon enough, I became so aware of the lack of sustainable solutions for different problems around the world, and this is when I thought, okay, like I actually want to be someone who does something about this. I started this idea at the age of 18 for a local science fair project. What started off as a local solution to a global issue, I ventured off across Montreal collecting soil samples, including my own backyard. I then went back to the lab and isolated several strains of bacteria. From this, I studied the properties and genomic makeup and found previously undiscovered novel species of oil-degrading bacteria. I'm essentially harnessing the power of these microbes and the biosurfactants that they produce to combine it in a filtration system that can be used to remediate oil contamination sites in a completely sustainable, cost-effective and novel manner. The biosurfactants will first degrade and disperse the hydrocarbons. It will then pass through to the microbial unit where it will further degrade and process the hydrocarbons. This will then pass through into a separate unit and the filtered water, for example, will then pass through and be recycled and restored to the previous environment. I've been working on developing this business and I just think that this challenge was the perfect opportunity um, in combining promoting women in science, which is something I deeply believe in, as well as developing a clean tech business. It just goes hand in hand. The fact that there are partners such as NRCAN and Mars that truly believe in this um, and see that there is a need and offer support for us, I think that it is really important and I'm, I'm really glad that a challenge like this actually exists.